Uh, Solidheim, which is a company owned by Hynix, delivered, uh, announced a 122 terabyte uh, SSD. Uh, the 6.5 was there. I was there. Uh, we not only did an on stage, Melody Brew was there, but uh, we captured it as well. And I'm hoping any day now we'll be able to uh, to publish that. But Dan, you know, I like to wax and wane on history and stuff like that. But if you get a nap, I'll come back in a few. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I want to I want to try to put this in context. Uh, right. You know, right, for right. AI, what have we been talking about? We've been talking about GPUs, HBM3, and silicon photonics. Yep. We have not really been talking a whole lot uh, about storage, maybe with the exception of, of like vast data uh, or, or something like that in relation to uh, XAI. Yeah, data infrastructure. Yeah, it, embedding meta tags, uh, stuff like that, uh, databases. Uh, but here we have storage, right? And, and every inflection point, we screw this up, whether it's mainframe to mini, mini to client server, social, local, mobile, uh, web, uh, e-commerce, uh, AI version 1.0, it all gets crazy. And if uh, storage, compute, memory, and networking are not are aligned, uh, we do unnatural things and it's super inefficient. So with bringing this 122 terabyte SSD, and a lot of people might not know this, but um, uh, about 80% of all hyperscaler data is sitting on hard drives, okay? Hard drives that are slow, uh, they're cheaper, uh, that are um, uh, not dense, that are power hungry, and aren't really meeting the needs of any uh, modern application. Just to be clear, AI is all, AI is all SSD. So essentially, uh, Solidim, you know, brought one of the solutions to the challenge of, of AI. And we always talk about data management, but I also don't want to wax uh, over uh, storage because on top of every good data management platform, you have a ton uh, of data. And that's why folks like uh, on stage with me and Mel uh, was uh, Vast Data CEO, Ren and Halik, and uh, Arm Executive, Ossient, uh, Core Weave, right? The big, uh, the big front runner. They just got a big uh, valuation. Uh, Peak, a company called Peak uh, AIO that they've seen a four hundred percent increase uh, in in business from uh, from AI uh, on the edge. But it was a good showing. It was good thought leadership. It's good to see a storage company for the enterprise actually do thought leadership as opposed to not say anything and and duck uh, and cover. So it's good stuff. Yeah, I don't have a lot to add there, but I, I did find when we went out there, we spent some time with their co-CEO and the team that they're definitely doing some interesting things. And there is a, there's a tiering to all this. You know, it's not all just, you know, compute memory. You do need, the data needs to be stored somewhere. <laughs> So, you know, it, 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 the way that gets done and the way data is being tagged and metadata is being created and the way that's being accessed by applications and the impact of agents is all going to be really, really profound. But in the end, like this stuff still has to get done and, and they're, a, they're a well-run company with, a, with some really good innovation. And thanks for taking that trip for the yeah, six five. 